supermarket simulator. Is it worth a buy? Let's read the words of the book. What are you doing? Let's read the words of the words of the developer. Run your own supermarket, stock shelves, set prices as you'd like, take payments, hire staff, expand and design your store. Now, guys, before you all run away thinking what the hell's happened to Mac, well, this game is very positive on Steam. But a lot of shit games are. But this one has 47,000 reviews. And it's 90% positive. That's why I reviewed it. And it's a tenner. A tenner. And it's an Ayrton, guys. And the end result is I have 21 hours in it. And I love it. It's a bloody great game, this. If you're just looking for something to chill with that has great progression, it's got a few things wrong, which I will... Uh, bring to your attention but generally speaking it's just so much damn fun playing it so what you do is you start off in a tiny little space with a little bit of money and very very limited stock you have a license only to sell basic food you grab a shelf grab some food pick up the boxes unpack it all set your shelves up set your price you're given a market price of what the goods sell for, like milk will sell for whatever. You obviously want to be undercutting that to be able to sell it. So you set your price at whatever you want, and then you open the store. The store runs from 9 in the morning till 9 at night. Obviously, you buy yourself a, a till, and you just sit on the till, and you wait for people to come in the store, grab the food, they pay by card or cash, and you start making a little bit of profit. You then, at the end of that day, order more food, restock your shelves, Prices will fluctuate up and down. You'll get the market on that and you have to adjust uh, your prices or you'll end up making a loss or not selling stuff at all. And then the next day begins. It gets quite hectic um, at the early days because you are doing everything. You're the, the shelf stacker, the manager who orders the food. You're the till person as well. And you do the market research, checking the prices. But as you save up a bit of money, you then buy new licenses for more food. You buy new shelves, you expand the store so it's a bit, better to, a bit bigger to put your new shelves up. And then it becomes even more hectic because you still can't hire staff yet. And so you're running twice as hard a shift as you were when you first started. Eventually you'll be able to hire new staff so you can hire new till workers, you can hire shelf stackers. But to do that, you have to have a storeroom. So you start renting the storeroom next door, which is tiny. Grab a shelf, put some stuff on. And the store guy, when you order it, the, the boxes get dropped outside. They'll take them into the store, fill your shelves up, and whatever's left, they'll stock it in the storeroom. And that's the hook. That's the progression. The progression is you want to get your store really big into a supermarket. You want to sell all the types of foods. You want a big storage room. And you want the more stuff you sell, the more money you get. But you have to balance that off with making sure that you have everything on your shelves that you're not putting yourself in a position where you can't man the tills, where there's huge queues, where customer satisfaction is bad. It, you, there's a lot going on here. I'm at the stage where my store looks terrible. I need to stop the game. I need to rearrange all the stuff and because I've now got a big enough area to do aisles, which is what I wanted to do from the off, but I couldn't because the store was so small. So now I'm going to have to spend probably half an hour redoing, redeploying everything in my store. But I haven't time to do that because I've got a, a load of work this week. Loads of other reviews coming in this week, which I'm really looking forward to. Some really good looking stuff, which will probably end up being shite. But this game is so much damn fun. When, once you get a good few people on tills, a good few uh, shelf stackers and delivery guys, you've got a big store, lots of different food going on, and you're starting to make a mint. It's great. It's, the attention to detail in this is amazing. You pay for your rent, you pay for the electricity. You even have to install the light uh, fittings in your, uh, as, you, as your store expands. And they're bringing in a load of new stuff, such as shoplifters, CCTV, an app which actually tells you what whether your prices are competitive, which is going to be so much easier than having to manually check everything. There'll be online orders as well coming uh, and self-service tills. So there's a lot of stuff coming to this game. And I've seen some people playing this online with huge supermarkets. Mine still looks like a corner shop compared to theirs. And the desire to get that big is just overwhelming for me. And I, so I will keep playing this long after this review is finished. There is some problems with the game. Um, for example, if you try to stock the shelves yourself when you have a lot of delivery guys, you run a huge risk that one of your delivery guys is trying to restock the same product. And if they get there, 
while you are just finishing, they will be stuck in a loop where they just stand there. Um, there needs to be a reset delivery guy button, and I don't understand why there isn't one, considering there's about a billion threads of people complaining about this. That needs to be done as a matter of urgency, uh, because it's just ridiculous. The only way that I've found to fix it is to either dismantle the shelf or uh, save the game and then switch the game off, uh, because that actually does reset the delivery man. There's also bugs with customers doing exactly the same thing on the tills. And the worst bug I've ever found, and I've never had this before, is a blue screen of death. I've had about seven blue screens of death with this game. No other game, and I play more games than most people because of my job. And I never get a blue screen with anything else. But with this game, I have had seven blue screens. I've Googled it, and so have a few other people. So there's definitely a problem with this game that is causing blue screens. I watch me temperatures as well. I mean, temperatures are fine, so I don't know what it is, but there's something with certain hardware setups that's just not good in this game. It needs better optimization. Needs more uh, character models as well, uh, just to. But it is early, it's an early access game. It needs a lot of uh, a lot of work, a lot of stuff doing to it. But for ten pound, what you get is just brilliant. It's definitely playable, really good fun, an excellent chill out game. It's the kind of game where. You just want to get lost in it. You just Time just flies by when you're playing this. because it, it, I mean, it does get repetitive and monotonous at times. Of course it does. The silly grinds, like the, the till grind. I don't know what he was smoking when he when he put that in, or she, whoever made this game. But before you can hire another cashier, you have to serve so many customers on the till yourself. And that figure goes up like crazy. I'm currently needing, just to get to level three, I think I have to serve over four hundred people on the till. I've got better things to fucking do than sit on a fucking till going beep. I've got to manage the whole store, make sure I'm buying everything. I don't want to sit on a fucking till for 400. It takes hours. It's a stupid, it makes no sense as well. I mean, why would you have to do that? I own the fucking store. It's just stupid. I understand the other progression locks. I understand all them. They make perfect sense. Like licenses cost more money. Delivery guys, you need more shelving before you can hire them. They make sense, but the till one makes zero sense. Get rid of it. It's just an annoyance, an absolute annoyance. It really is. Gives nothing to the game. But anyway, guys, I thought I'd bring this game to your attention. If you're looking for something that on the face of it looks garbage, check it out. Ten quid. You'll not be sorry if you like this kind of stuff. It's just a great, satisfying, immersive game.